Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this fabric. It's so sparkly, it's so shimmery, it's so pretty. And what else would we do with this fabric than make a super dope DIY sequence top that also has a lining included? But you guys would already know that if you're part of Snapchat Squad. And if you're not yet, what are you waiting for? You are watching Madeira 037. Okay, so I know you guys are wondering, hey, what happened to that DIY wrap skirt tutorial that you posted and said you were going to make? Well, I did. As you guys can see here, I was filming the tutorial and everything was going great. And then in typical Nadira fashion, I actually didn't record some of the things that I needed to. But don't worry, you guys. I'm going to re-record that video and it will be my next tutorial. But in the meantime, make sure you click on that subscribe button. And also, because YouTube's made all types of changes, click on that bell, turn on notifications, and that way you won't miss out on any future videos. But let's go ahead and get started with the fabric that we'll be using for this tutorial. So I have this kind of stretch sequence fabric here. As usual, I will have a blog post with more information about the fabric I use, measurements, and all that good stuff, and the link will be down below. For the lining, I'm just using this fabric that I had on hand. It is a knit fabric, doesn't quite match, but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna start off with this DIY pattern. I've showed you guys how to trace clothing before, and I did trace a t-shirt to get this. Check out some of my previous tutorials if you want to see that. For the sleeve, I will do a blog post showing you how to do that, and for my Patreons, I will have a video uploaded for you guys too. To start off with the lining, we're going to go ahead and fold the fabric over once and then fold it over again. I'm just kind of showing you guys what it'll look like here so you have a better idea. But this way you can cut out both pieces at one time, so both the front and back. And then I'm just going to go ahead and line it up along the fold. Go ahead and put my DIY pattern weights down. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and start off with my rotary cutter for my straight lines. And then once I get to my curved pieces, I'll go ahead and use my scissors. Once you've done that and you unfold it, this is what it'll look like. I'm going to go ahead and cut out that piece for the front neckline and put that to the side for now. Line it up and go ahead and trace out that front neckline. Put my pattern weights back down and very carefully, making sure I only cut the two pieces, I'll go ahead and cut out that front piece. Once you unfold that and open it up, this is what it's going to look like. And you can see here that the front neckline is a bit lower than the back. Next, you want to go ahead and sew and or serge your shoulder seams and your side seams. After you've done that, we can move on to the sleeves and I have my fabric folded the exact same way and I'll place my pattern down along the folds, use my pattern weights, go ahead and trace around it. Once I've done that, I'll go ahead and remove the pattern weights and cut everything up. Once you open it up, this is what it'll look like. And I'm just going to take one of the pieces here to show you what it looks like a little bit better. What I did was go ahead and serge along the bottom of the sleeve. And I'm using Wonder Tape because I love it and it's amazing. I do have a full video on that so you guys can click the card above if you want to check it out. But you basically go ahead and place it down, pull it up piece by piece, and then fold over your hem. It makes working with knit fabric super easy. Once I've done that, I'm just folding it over again so you guys can get a better look. You'll just go ahead and top stitch along the bottom of your sleeve. This is what it will look like once you have done that. Then you're just going to go ahead and fold your sleeve together with right sides facing right sides. Make sure everything's lined up nice and neat and you're going to sew and or serge along the underarm seam. Here I'm just showing you guys what it looks like once you're done with that and then I'm just going to go ahead and fold it with the right sides out to get a better look and also so it will be ready to attach to your top. Now you want to make sure that your top is folded with the wrong sides out and again your sleeve is folded with the right sides out. Actually go ahead and just mark along where the top seam would be so it's easier for me to line it up once I place that into the armhole. I'm going to go ahead and line up my bottom seams first and then I'll go ahead and pin them down. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my top seam and pin them together. Then I just pin all the way around. Once I've done that, you can go ahead and take it to your sewing machine and or serger and work your way around. On my sewing machine, I did go ahead and remove the extension table just because it makes it easier to go ahead and sew around a small opening like an armhole. Here's what it'll look like once you have finished sewing around. We're going to do the same thing for the top, except this time I have the fabric folded with right sides facing right sides. So when I am cutting through it, there won't be little pieces of sequins flying everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and tape this piece back down so I can start tracing my pattern. I did go ahead and try on the lining and I noticed that I wanted my outer top to be a little bit longer, so I'm adding an inch to the bottom for length. Make sure that you don't use your good scissors to cut through your sequins. You don't want to dull your blades. So I just go ahead and use the same scissors that I used to cut my patterns. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and open it up just like we did with the lining and then fold one piece back over so you can go ahead and do your front neckline. So since I taped that down, I'm just peeling it back up. I'm gonna go ahead and trace the front neckline and cut it out. Then just like you did with your lining, you wanna line it together. This time making sure that you have your right sides facing right sides. And then go ahead and pin your shoulder seams and your side seams. You can actually pin right through the sequins. And then once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and sew right down your side seams and your shoulder seams. You do want to make sure that you're using a heavyweight needle if you're going to sew right through the sequence. So something like a denim or a leather needle would be great. If your pattern allows, you can actually sew right along the salvage. Or zooming in here, I'm going to show you guys another way. You can basically place your pattern down and mark the line where it'll be at. And then go ahead and remove the stitch that is right in line with your pattern. You can see once you've done that on the other side, it gives you a nice space to sew through without having to worry about damaging your needle. So we're going to go ahead and cut out our sleeves and do the exact same thing. I did go ahead and make it a little bit wider along the underarm seam just because I wanted the sleeve to be a little bit more flowy, but it's totally up to you how you want your sleeves to look. Then I'll just go ahead and cut it out. Once you've done that, you can open them up, line them up nice and neatly and sew along the underarm seam. Again, with your sleeve folded right sides out and your top folded wrong sides out, you're gonna line it up and for your side seams there, you actually just wanna press them down till they lay nice and flat and go ahead and pin them together with those seams lying nice and flat. Do the same thing along the top. Then I pin all the way around just like we did with the lining. Take it to your sewing machine and sew all the way around. Here's what your finished top will look like. Now we're gonna move on to attaching the lining which you want to be right side out and you want your top to be folded wrong side out. So this way when you line them up and tuck your lining in, they're actually going to be facing right sides together. So again, flatten your seams there and then go ahead and pin together around the neck hole. Pin all the way around the neck hole once you've done both of the seams and you can go ahead and take it to your sewing machine and sew all the way around. You're basically done here. We're just going to go ahead and fillet this and go ahead and tuck your lining in and you can see it makes it so that it's nice and smooth on the inside. You don't have to worry about any unfinished edges or sequins or anything like that rubbing up against your skin. Last step that we're going to do is basically hem it in a way. I'm actually just going to use my scissors to cut and make sure it's nice and even for the sleeves and I'm doing the same thing for the bottom. And that's it. You guys are done. You have made your sequence top with the lining. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Definitely make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did and of course share it with anyone else who you think might enjoy it. And leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of this tutorial and what you'd want to see next. Now it's time for our Material Girl of the Week. This week it's from Instagram. She is my DIY two-piece cape tutorial. So make sure you guys keep those hashtags coming so I can see and share. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. And until my next video, assalamualaikum. Hey!